What is good YouTube family? Welcome back to another video guys. I know this is a brand new channel so we're just trying to get the few steps going so that we can start growing. But we're gonna get straight into the video guys. Now in this video I'm gonna give you guys the secret to my haircut and what exactly I asked my barber and uh, how exactly he cuts it. I got my haircut about four days ago. On Thursday, I get my haircut every two weeks, simply just so that I can keep it fresh. So it's been about four days, and this is what my hair looks like right now, straight out of bed. So what I did yesterday was I washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner, and I left in some coconut oil overnight. Um, and this is what it looks like straight out of bed. Nothing crazy going on, you know. It's it's not the the curls are not too tight or anything like that. As you guys can see, I don't grow too much facial hair, mostly around here. So what I asked my barber to do was just to cut it down a little bit and what I ask him to do is shape it up as you can see he has this nice and shaped in here Let's see if we can get it to focus he shaped it up right in here and shaved it down this is a look that I like and I enjoy I feel like this look lasts longer than um, if I were to let it grow a little bit if I let it grow it looks too crazy it looks too out of whack and um, so I don't rock any sideburns so basically my haircut what it is is um, or what I tell my barber is to do a skin fade, a high skin fade. So what he does is he'll cut all this skin right here. And, uh, and you guys will see from some of the clips I'm going to put up, most of it is a skin fade right along the bottom. And, uh, and he starts working his way up from the half to the one to the one and a half two, all the way up to the top. So he basically stops like around right there. You can see where it starts to fade up just from the side so skin like I said it's been a, it's been about four days um, so you, it's starting to fade in a little bit more um, but basically this is how I rock it um, yeah so basically this is what he does and I'll show you guys a little bit of the back now in the back he does cut up a little higher up here and what I ask him to do is to just to trim the back hair the, the top back a little bit. I'm starting to grow out the top a little bit. I'm gonna put a clip of what the look I'm going for is now. This is, uh, right now this is, I guess you can say, my short curly hair. This is a little bit longer curly hair. So my goal right now is to, somewhere in between that medium and longer curly hair is where I wanna have it. Simply because it's easy to maintain and it, the look will last longer. And what I mean by that is, I don't have to constantly keep getting a haircut um, and spending money on haircuts. So like I said, I get a haircut every two weeks. My barber works with me very good. He, he already knows how I like my haircut. Um, for example, I have like a little birth defect right here. <clears throat> right around here, there's a little patch. And my barber already knows my hair. So what I recommend for you guys is uh, be comfortable. And try, try to find a barber that you feel comfortable and confident with. That you can speak to him and talk to him like if he was your friend. And, you know, you feel comfortable asking for certain things because sometimes you might not feel comfortable going to new barbers. So I recommend you find one barber, one or two barbers, just in case he might be out of town. You always have a backup barber that you can go to. Uh, but it's got to be somebody you feel comfortable and confident with, somebody that knows and um, and understands your hair and how to work with it. Don't be afraid to ask for certain things. Uh, like for example, he was cutting my hair too short when I would ask him to cut the top. So I felt confident and comfortable telling him, hey bro, last time you cut it a little bit too short, don't cut it as short. Um, or you know, any any anything like that, that was just an example. Try different looks. It took me a while to get used to this look. And, uh, and I had to go through different phases of looks and different styles because, you know, curly hair can be a pain in the neck and it is hard to maintain, but it is unique. It's not like straight hair, you know. One day you can look like something completely different just by how you style your hair and you can straighten your hair, you can blow dry it. You have so many options with curly hair and uh, that's why I'm so thankful that I have this hair. But um, definitely try new looks, don't settle, um, keep it fresh and keep switching it up. Um, it just makes for a more fun experience for your hair. I'm gonna make a video with different lists of type of products that I use for my hair. Uh, if you guys wanna stay tuned for that, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll answer them for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And as always, remember to savage responsibly. And whatever it is that you do, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.